How should you power up, restart your machine? When you first turn your machine on, it's gonna tell you that it has no zero on X, Y, and Z. And uh, many times it will say to press the power up, zero return. I just press the e-stop button to stop it. But when you press the power up, restart button, the machine has no idea where X, Y, and Z are. So it's going to send the motors home. When you press it with the power up restart, it sends each axis to its home position and then it backs off forward. It's also going to shift gears if it has a gearbox and it's going to also change a tool. If you don't want it to change a tool, you can go to setting 81 by pressing the settings button, typing in 81 and pressing the down arrow key. This is tool one at power down. That means that when you power down and you power back up, and you press the power up restart button, it's going to put that tool one or whatever tool you have set here in the spindle. If you set that number to zero, it's not going to do a tool change. Now, the power up restart button is great because it does all three things at once. But if you would like to troubleshoot each one individually, I recommend doing a zero return single. So in our case, I press the zero return button, I can press the X letter, and I can press zero single axis and that will zero just the X. Once X hits the home switch, it backs off until it sees the Z pulse, and then that's when it sets it to zero. The same thing will happen on Y, and for X, and for A if you have an A. If you would like to zero return all of your axes at once, you can press the zero return button, the auto all axes, and if you watch on the screen here, it will home everything. And in that case, everything homed. But if there's a problem with x-axis or y or any of those that happens during the all, I recommend doing each one singly. And in that case, you could press zero return, the letter, and then the single button. In our case, it's going to zero just z and then home itself. This is very useful when troubleshooting. So now you understand how to do a power up restart, a zero return all, or a zero return single. One last thing, if you have a lathe, you're going to need to remember to zero A, because A is the tool turret, and B, B is the tailstock. And if you have a bar feeder, that's going to be the V axis. Thanks for watching, and if you're more interested, please check out my other YouTube videos and CNC replacement parts for parts and tools. Thank you.